10. Moana Maki. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Housing and asks, what reports or advice has he requested on the impact on New Zealand's community housing sector of the Charities Commission's decision to deregister the Queenstown Lakes Community Housing Trust from September this year, and what does he believe that impact will be? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, I've requested advice on this from the Department of Building and Housing, and I'm advised that the Queenstown Housing Trust have appealed the Charities Commission decision to the High Court an injunctive relief from deregistration until this appeal is heard next year has in fact been granted. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. Um, I asked about the impact on the, on the New Zealand community housing sector, not the impact on one housing trust. The member asked what he, what he believed uh, the impact will be. What he believed and what does he believe that impact will be? I mean... When a member puts into a question what ministers believe, it's, it's not uh, much use asking the speaker to intervene when the ministers aren't. Minister uh, answers. I thought the minister did. I, well, I'll hear the member if he wants to speak to the point of order. She says, as written on the sheet, that he's asking what the impact will be uh, on the Queenstown Lake Community Housing Trust, not the community housing sector. Well... I appreciate the contribution of the member. What I'm ruling is simply that the last part of the question is so vague in terms of asking what the minister believes that impact will be. I can't intervene with respect to the answer given. Supplementary question, Ryan Mackey. Why has he not acted quickly to convince Cabinet to amend the Charities Act to ensure that the Queenstown Lakes Community Housing Trust keeps its charitable status instead of them having to spend large amounts of money that should be being spent on housing, on legal fees, fighting the change in the courts? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, I'm not the Minister in charge of the uh, Charities uh, Act, uh, and this decision actually doesn't affect uh, my decisions or the Housing Department decisions in terms of giving grants to this particular trust. In fact, we gave $1.4 million to this trust uh, last year, and they put in a very good application. Uh, this year, we won't be viewing them any differently. Mike did he know in June this year, when he announced with great fanfare that the Queenstown Trust would receive a million dollars in funding from the Housing Innovation Fund, that they were facing having to hand back more than $1.25 million to the government in tax? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, I believe the grant uh, that they acquired last year from the, um, through, through housing uh, vote was actually $1.4 million. They put another application in this year that looks uh, pretty good. We don't decide uh, on what the Charities Commission do in the, house, the Department of Housing. Uh, that, that's a matter for the Minister, uh, another Minister, not me. Has he seen reports that Charities Commission Chief Executive Trevor Garrett in publicly defending the decision, made claims that the Trust had been helping households with incomes of over $200,000, a claim which has no basis in fact whatsoever. And what has he done as Minister of Housing to ensure that this public slur against the Queenstown Housing Trust is retracted and corrected? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, I am not the Minister as Minister of Housing in charge of the Charities Commission. I cannot tell off the Chief Executive. I don't meet with the Chief Executive. Uh, I'm not the Minister responsible for that Chief Executive. Moana Mackey. What impact does he think the Charities Commission decision will have on his expectation that the community housing sector will take a lead role in providing his gateway affordable housing scheme, given that to do so will lose them their charitable status? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Well, Mr Speaker, that's a matter that's going to go before the courts. There's been an interim injunctive relief for deregistration from this particular community housing uh, group. I don't see that it has any particular impact on the work that we're doing. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, point of order my I didn't ask him for his opinion on the court ruling because that would be inappropriate. I asked him about the impact of that decision on an announcement that the Minister made this week. His expectation. His expectation. Order. A point of order is being heard, and uh, the member normally is very well behaved. I must. What I'll do on this occasion is invite the member to repeat a question because I've got to be honest. When I listened to it, I couldn't understand it. Now, how do I, how do I expect the minister to answer? How do I judge a minister's answer whether a minister answers a question or not when I can't understand it? So. I apologise, and, and I accept that to some extent that I'm my hearing. So I invite the member with, uh, to repeat a question. What impact does...
does he think the Charities Commission's decision will have on his expectation that the community housing sector will take a lead role in providing his gateway affordable housing scheme, given that to do so would lose them their charitable status? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, in the interim, the Charities Commission decision has been reversed by the court, so it's having no effect. I don't expect that it will have any effect, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Question number 11. Kanwaljeet.